Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreya Crochet. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing to you another scarf tutorial. I don't know the name of this scarf. I saw a video on YouTube where they were showing how to do this pattern and I thought it'd be pretty cool. So I thought I would uh, create a tutorial showing you how to do it on my channel. The things you will need include some yarn. I'm going to use a medium four, which normally calls for 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and that is US however I'm going to be using a size J six millimeter uh, US hook because of my tension you will need some scissors and a darning weaving tapestry needle let's get to it so we'll start out with a slip knot wrap it around twist to exchange I'll wrap this over your finger like that pull that one over that one and off your finger while lifting up like that. Insert your crochet hook into the hole, to the loop, and pull to tighten. So the multiple for this, and we're establishing our width, okay, the width of the scarf is you will crochet a multiple of four and then add two stitches. So multiple of four plus two. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, that's 3 times 4, I know my, I want my scarf wider than that, so I'm going to go, keep going, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, mm, I kind of like that, so maybe I'll stop there, okay, and then remember to add the 2, so 1, 2, okay, so I have a total of 18 chains, 4 times 4, that's the multiple 4, which is 16, plus 2 more chains, which gives me a total of 18 stitches or 18 chains. Now we're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. This is the first chain from the hook. This one right here is the second, so skip the first one, go into the second one. And we're going to make a single crochet, so we're not going to yarn over first, we're just going to enter the chain like that. Now yarn over, pull through to the front for two loops, one, two, yarn over, go through two, one and two, okay? All right, so now that we have that single crochet made, we're going to chain five, so one, two, three, four, and five, and now we're going to skip three chains, so the single crochet is in this chain right there, okay? So we're going to skip that one, that's one. We're going to skip that one, that's two. We're going to skip that one, that's three. And in the fourth chain away, that's where we're going to put another single crochet. So we'll just enter, yarn over, pull through to the front for two loops again. One, two, yarn over, go through two. One and two. And I will repeat that all the way across. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And now we're going to skip three chains and put a single crochet into the fourth chain away. So just like before, the single crochet is in that chain. See there? Okay. So we're going to skip one, skip two, skip three, and then this fourth chain, that's where we're going to put a single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. This single crochet is there in that chain, so now it's time to skip three chains. Skip one, skip two, skip three, and in this fourth chain, that's where we're going to put a single crochet. All right, almost at the end. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And once again, we're going to skip three chains. So this single crochet is in that chain right there, so we're going to skip one, skip two, skip three, and in that fourth and final chain, that's where we're going to put our final single crochet, like that, okay? And this is what you're going to have, okay? All right, so now we're going to chain two, one and two, and that will count as a stitch, okay? We're going to turn our work, and in this chain five space, we're going to put five double crochets. So yarn over, because we're making a double crochet, enter this chain five space. So 
Just stick your crochet hook through that big hole like that, okay? Yarn over and pull through to the front for three loops. One, two, three. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one and two. So we've made our first double crochet and we need to make four more so we can put a total of five double crochets in that space. So yarn over, back in there, back in that huge space. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, I'm just gonna start making them now. That's three, that's four, and that's five. Okay, now that we have our five double crochets made, we're gonna jump to the next chain five space, which is here, and make five more double crochets. So in the chain five spaces, those big holes, we're gonna put five double crochets. And that's easy enough to remember. Five chains, five double crochets. One for each of those chains, okay? All right, you might be wondering, do you do anything? Do you chain one or anything in between the final double crochet, that fifth double crochet of this in that chain five space and the first double crochet in that chain five space? The answer is no. You go immediately from that double crochet to that one. So I've crocheted five double crochet here. Now it's time to work in this chain five space. And once again, I'm not gonna chain or anything. I'm just gonna go immediately to the double crochet. So yarn over, go to the next chain five space and put five double crochet. Two, and don't forget you guys can slow this down on YouTube. Three, four if you need to, and five. All right, this is what it's looking like. Okay, we have one more chain five space where we need to put five double crochet, so let's do it. One, back in there, four, two, back in there, four, three, back in there for four, and back in there for five. And you might remember this single crochet on the end there, okay? So we're just gonna put a double crochet in the top of that single crochet. So yarn over, you might need to kind of rotate your work there so you can get the top of the chain or the top of the stitch, the top of the single crochet, I'm gonna use this to identify it because this color is a little dark, okay? So that's the top, right? See the heart or spade shape? That's where we're going. So yarn over, give yourself an area of view so you can get to the top easily. Slice the icing off the top of the cake. Yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops. One, two, three. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. Alrighty, now we're going to chain one turn our work. In this final stitch, the same one that the chain one is coming out of, we're going to put a single crochet. So slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull it through to the front for two loops, and make your single crochet. Now we're going to start those series of five chains again, okay? So we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna put a single crochet in between these groupings of five double crochet. So here's the first group of five double crochet in between here. So after this first group in between, before we start the next group, the second group, that's where we're gonna put our single crochet like that, okay? And then we're going to repeat. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Here's the next group. Here's the one thereafter. So we're gonna go in between them right there. It's the same place where I said, do we do anything in between those two groups? And the answer was no, okay? Chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Here's the third group of five. Here's the fourth and final group of five. So in between there, put a single crochet, okay, like that. This is what it's looking like. And then chain five one more time. One, two, three, four, and five. And then here's the group of five double crochet in that top chain, the second chain up. That's where we're gonna put a single crochet right on the end. Okay, so you will see that this 
row that we just created looks very much like the beginning row. And now we're just going to repeat row two and then row three and we'll keep alternating between the two. So I'll start row three again. Chain two, one, two. Turn your work. And each of these chain five spaces, there's one, here's another one, here's another one, and here's another one. I'm going to put what? Yes, five double crochet. So let's start it. Yarn over, go into that big chain five space and put five double crochet. That's one. Give myself some slack. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. Remember, we go immediately to the next chain five space and start our next group of five double crochet. So yarn over and go one, two, three, four, and five. Find the next chain five space and go immediately to that one making your double crochets, your five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we have one more chain five space to make five double crochet. Immediately go to it, no chaining in between. Yarn over and commence to making your double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then remember, at the end of this row, that's where we put the double crochet, right in the top of that single crochet. Remember, it can help to rotate it, so you give yourself an aerial view, and then the top of the chain there. That's where I'm going to enter, right there, okay? So, making a double crochet, so I yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the cake, like that. Okay, I make my double crochet, and this is what it looks like. Beautiful, huh? All right. The next row is going to be the row where I chain the five, so I know I'm going to start out with a single crochet. So chain one, turn my work, and then that very first stitch, the same one that the chain one is coming out of, I'm going to put a single crochet, so slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front, make a single crochet, and now I chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then find the space in between the two groups of five double crochet. It's there and there's a little hole and you make your single crochet. Okay, so I think you guys got it. Okay, so I'm going to work on this for a bit and then I'll meet you once I have my scarf to my uh, my desired length. See you there. Alright, so I'm revisiting the chain five row. And I just made the single crochet. I just wanted to clarify something. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Those five chains will get me across, will serve and act as a bridge to get across these five double crochet. And then in between this grouping of five double crochet and this grouping of five double crochet, right there, that's where I'm gonna put the single crochet. So if you want, you can count over five, double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and then right after the fifth one, go in there, or you can just easily look for the hole, because there is a gap, there's a hole there, there's a space. So go in there and put your single crochet. And now chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And as you already know, find the top chain, okay, of that chain two, so this is the five double crochet, but on the other side of that, that's the chain two that's there, so find the second chain up, and go in there and make a single crochet. All right, and that's that. Now let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> so I am almost done with this scarf, but you guys know I'm a fan of symmetry if you've watched any of my other videos, and so I want this end to look similar to this one where I started at the very beginning, okay? As is evidenced by this little tail. Well, there's like this string of chains. So I want something similar on this end. So all I'm gonna do is do one more of the other type of row, okay? So I'll chain one, turn my work, put a single crochet at the beginning like normal, okay? And just in case you guys didn't 
get that I chained one and then in that same stitch that that chain one is coming out of, that very first stitch, just slice the icing off the top of the cake and make a single crochet. And now I commence to doing what I just showed you in that little snippet with the light green yarn. Uh, I chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That gets me across those five double crochet and then go in between there in that gap and put a single crochet. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over, find the gap, put a single crochet. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Cross over, find the gap, put a single crochet. Rinse, repeat. One, two, three, four, and five. And then on the end, I find the second chain up, like I just showed you, and I put a single crochet. Now I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna cut my yarn, and I'm going to fasten off. And now I'm going to take my darning weaving tapestry needle and I'm going to weave this yarn in. Because the row that we just completed was a row of chains, that's not a good row to try to weave in your yarn because you don't really have much of a stitch to weave into. You could do it as possible, but it's tedious. Instead, I'm just going to go in the row before where I have nice tall double crochets. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some stitches in one direction like that. And then I'm going to take a slightly different path, as I always say, going in the opposite direction, coming back towards me. Pull like that. All right, now I'm going to stretch my work back out to its original shape, and then I'm going to cut the excess tail. All right, and there we have it. Let me zoom out so you can see the finished product. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very fitting because it's fall. And it just reminds you of the beautiful foliage that you see if you live in a place where there are many trees and the leaves turn colors around this time of the year. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. I mean, yeah, this is just a beautiful colorway that was designed for this season, basically. I don't know if it was, but I definitely think this season played a role <laughs> in the uh, color section. So, yeah, you have these just beautiful groupings of... Um, Five double crochet and as I always say consistency really turns into beautiful things it can be like the most simple stitch but if you're consistent with it doing it over and over and you're neat about it and intentional it really can turn into something just absolutely spectacular and beautiful and this is yet another example of just that so that is gonna be it for this video but you know I will see you in the next one in the meantime happy crocheting